Welcome back to Four Thousand Five. I have no idea what happened to my video yesterday. I was just casually using OBS because I've always used it for my videos and my streams, etc. Well, guess what? Ever since I started using Windows 11 24H2, OBS decided to be a complete idiot. It only worked once. The second time, not so much. So, I've been hearing off and on about OBS versus Streamlabs desktop. And apparently, it keeps itself more up to spec depending on what version of Windows you use. Good news is, Streamlabs doesn't compromise. OBS wants to be a complete idiot on me, and I don't know why, but it worked all this time on 22H2 and 23H2. Now with this guy, it wants to be a total idiot. So, fine. I'll switch over to Streamlabs OBS, did a couple test runs, it saved my videos. Perfect. So, that's what I'm going to use from now on. Plus, I switched out my camera. I have my roughly two or three year old, give or take, Logitech C920, and it's actually keeping itself up to spec, unlike my Razer Kio Pro that I've had for about a good two years. Here's the thing Streamlabs and OBS have a very hard time with Razer products, especially the camera. Don't know why, but that's apparently a thing. So, getting back to what I was talking about before with my video. I had recorded 18 minutes worth of gameplay of Forza Horizon 5 with the car of the week, which I did unlock yesterday. I tuned it, I took it for a drive, everything, every little thing else. I even parked it at the air control tower at the Aerodromo airline, or airstrip, whatever. And the video did not save at all. I'm like, why are you doing this to me, bro? Seriously, how dare you, OBS? You save every little thing up to this point. Boy, that's all I gotta say. Anyway, the car of the week is in fact the 1998 Mitsubishi FTO GP version R. It has 197 horsepower. It is front wheel drive. It weighs about 25, a little over 2,500 pounds. And it was B class, no, it's actually C class, I believe. C class 585 or something like that. Anyway, I already tuned it. So in that video, but of course that video file got lost. So I will just briefly recap how I tuned this car. This is what you would have saw had the video file not got lost and had OPS not be a complete moron on me. So let's go to custom upgrade. Naturally, I made it all wheel drive. I did not swap out the engine. I did not give it aspiration. I did not do it from bumper or rear wing. Even though we do have parts from Boz Speed, B O Z Z S P E E D. I did not give it that. I also did not give it a Boz Speed rear wing. I don't know why it looks like it's ticking up, but it actually isn't. It's the illusion. It's ticking up in the middle of the air, but it actually isn't. I basically left the front and rear stock as is. Tires, I don't believe I changed those. Let me just check to confirm. I did not. Okay, so I did raise the front tire width to max, the rear tire width to max. These three practically stayed. The tire spacers I put up to max, front and rear, beautiful. Uh, drivetrain, I gave it a seven speed race transmission. I did do a driveline. I did do a race differential. For platform handling, I did do race brakes. I did give it race brake dampers. I did give the anti-roll bars race style for front and rear. No chassis upgrade. Originally I did street weight, but then before I paid for it, I put it back to stock weight. That's why you do not see the word owned for street weight because I back myself up on it because this already has light weight components to it and then for engine what did I do for engine I'm trying to figure that out I did street intake I did a race exhaust I did race cams and valves what did I do about rugger valves 
I did not. I always wanted to double check that. And then I believe I did a race flywheel. Perfect. Coming over to custom tuning, tire pressure, gearing, which I left pretty much stuck, camber, all this stuff, this, that stuff there, springs rather, intro bars, alignment, gearing, all this stuff is kind of normal, damping, that stays stock, that stays stock. These are all at 50. This was 60, but I dropped it 2% to 58%. Now let's hit the road. A gift from Alex in the barn. Oh joy. How did I get that wonder? Hmm. Which barn? Do I really want to take a drive there? Maybe. And yes, I saw how the wheels spin. Apparently, we get these every night at 8 p.m. Eastern, whether you play the game or not. So let's go ahead and check out that wheel spin because I am practically bored. And I have extra time to kill in this video because why not? Here we go. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? 10 grand. That's all right. I'm already over 117 mil. <laughs> all right. What messages do we have in our mailbox? Back to the 90s festival playlist. For the Japanese domestic market, born and raised, the 1998 Mitsubishi FTO GP version R is available. We already knew about that. Uh, 40 points um, for the festival playlist. Yeah, we knew about that. Uh, backstage, we already knew about that. And I got three downloads times 100, three uses times 200, none of the credits total. Okay, I'll take that. And also in the other video, I wanted to mention that somebody actually did write in the comments for the car of the week we got last week, which I did that Monday, somebody said, did you use a pass, or I thought you'd use the pass you had to get yourself the Cadillac limo. I actually did, but that was my second pass. The one that's worth a thousand fourth down points. I used that one to get the Cadillac limo. The one I got from the gift center, AKA inside the message center, I used that to get the Mercedes-Benz 280 SL. At one point before Wednesday, I'm gonna get both those videos out the Mercedes-Benz 280 SL and the Cadillac limo so you guys know how I tuned it and we'll just either drive it or put them in the race. Nine times out of ten, I'll just do a drive from point to point because one could be the racing type. The other one is more the driving type. So we'll determine that when it comes time to, okay? Beautiful. Let's go ahead and do our drive. It is nighttime, apparently in this particular setting, so we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Let's rock and roll, shall we? All right, where do we wanna go? That is undetermined right now because I do this. And also in the last video, I lowered down the volume, the main volume, to about 40 something, I believe, because I had it up to 60 or 70 something last, and you guys could barely hear a word I said. I would know. Because that's something I don't want to do. I want to have the uh, main volume in like the 30s or 40s, and the rest of it like 60, something, upper 60s, I guess. So, you know, at least get the car, but the main game volume is probably fine where it is at in the upper 40s or something like that. I don't know what car that is. I don't know who that uh, person is. Okay, we'll just casually bypass that. We're kind of stuck behind that car. I forgot to change my wheel settings, didn't I? We're gonna get a photo mode. I am sorry. I keep forgetting I unplugged my wheel because of another game that I play and for some dumb reason, it affects what I do, which is ridiculous. Now we good. And it's gonna save over the course of the point that I, okay, it didn't save, fine. Whatever, dude. But no, there's another game I do play on this PC. And for some reason, when the wheel is plugged in during the uh, time that other game is running, for some reason, when I want to scroll through menus, it auto scrolls on its own, and I do not know why it does that. That has to be a glitch here in the software, or it could be the game itself. I don't know. That we will find out. Well, I tried to find out, but I feel like doing so. I totally feel like doing so because I can never figure out what does it. But it does do that, and I don't know why. So that is something I can't control. And I can't figure out why, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. So, 
sorry, I hate to burst your bubble, but that's exactly what it goes sometimes. That's also be true, and I'm sorry to say, but you do only see what it does. But I do pull that game up. It's like, why does it do that? You know what I'm saying? It's stupid, God's sake. But yeah, it do be a thing, apparently. I'm not sure why, but it just wants to be like that. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just exit out of the game, unplug the dual bomb cord out of the power strip I have on my desk here, and relaunch the game. And I can use my uh, mouse here, I think if I can get in the view or whatever, this guy here, and just use that to uh, casually do what I need to do with um, scrolling and stuff like that with the scroll wheel that pretty much all my uh, gaming, casual, whatever, for PC hat. So, there's that. And, uh, yeah, there's that. So, you know, you do what you gotta do. Why a piece of hardware coincides with a software thing or a game, whatever, I can't figure out. I never could figure out. It's so weird to face at the same time, you know? It's one of those oddball mysteries that just happens to be a thing and it's like, yeah, well, I can't control that, can I? No, not really. I want to, but sadly, I can't. I'm gonna increase the speed a little bit. There we go. Alright. Done five. Slow down. Downshift. Come to stop sign. Yes, I am a law abiding driver in this game, apparently. <laughs> This is stuff we're gonna have to do in real life. I know, I literally see people out there that don't do that. There's literally a few people that I don't do that, and I don't know why, but they, uh, they refuse to abide by those things, which is ridiculous. Anyway, it is live, bro. Alright, we're gonna pull in here. Couch the end of the video, so. We're right by that light. See it? Right there. See it? See that light right there? Nice. Wait, can we actually park a little bit more up to it? Stop. Beautiful. Superb driving skills for the win. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> anyway, if you guys are new to the channel, and you want to see more 4075 videos and shorts and stuff like that, speak of shorts, new YouTube update. I don't know if you saw it on your YouTube Studio page on your phone or browser or whatever on PC, but whatever it could be. Three minutes shorts an hour thing apparently, so I might be testing that out in the coming days. So instead of these full on uh, widescreen videos there being posted on the channel, I might test out the three minute short and see how it looks and you know YouTube still take a few for their systems update. So if I do something that's three minutes or less and it's in that 9x16 format. I'm more than willing to give it a shot. See what it looks like and you never know. New trend is available. I highly advise uh, catch up on that and see what happens. Anyway, so subscribe if you're new, smack the like button, comment below your favorite part, and share this video with your friends. I will see you guys in the next video or short or whatever I may post. Until then, you guys stay safe, you guys stay awesome, you guys have a fantastic day. I'll see y'all later. Bye.